Hi, it's Cameron Reynolds, and check out this Beetle Buster right here. So we just put it on an hour ago, installed it, and you can see the bees down in there, down in that channel, patrolling the area and all that kind of stuff. Whew, that's getting heavy. All right. Ay, 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 ay. Well, I shifted it a little bit. But anyways, we put it on an hour ago. I went and ate some lunch, thought I'd give it a little bit of time. We also intentionally changed the lid configuration because with my lids, these migratory style lids, they're not quite perfect. Um, and so the beetles could possibly get underneath those lids. And we definitely want to make sure that the beetles are only coming in at that entrance for multiple reasons. You know, I forgot to show you one thing at the entrance really quick. So let's go back over there and then I'll show you what we got in the back. This, uh, this trap's doing really great so if you'll notice that little silver aluminum bit there's a little gap underneath there where the beetles can go in there's a fluted area and the small high beetles as they're you know coming in here the beetles are you know beating them up a little bit bullying them and if they go underneath there into that fluted area the corrugated fluted plastic then it's going to drive them right down into the diode tomaceous earth and of course you saw the corrugated um, type uh, channels down in there and of course the the bees are patrolling them and the beetles are looking for a nice spot to hide and an hour later hopefully i didn't get a bunch of bees down in here in the process oh there's one but it just flew out that one's got a little bit of pollen get out of here bee all right check all these out one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, like 25 of these beetles that we've already caught in this little bit. And this is just as important to me, if not more important. Look at all these larvae down in here. There's a bunch of babies that have been coming off of our patties because we feed a lot of patties. And so they're getting cut up. They're getting killed. And we're not having to worry so much about the next generation. But look at this these beetles right here is it's it's getting into their joints it's cutting them up it's drying them out and that is going to help us in the future not have to worry about our patties getting a bunch of eggs laid on them and then have these suckers right here but even if we did get a little bit it's also catching those larvae which is so important because keep in mind for those of you who don't know small hive beetles pupate very quickly in just three to 12 weeks, they can go from just little larvae like that, go into the ground, and this is preventing them from going to the ground. They go into the ground and they go through their pupation. In just three to 12 weeks, they come out and they're an adult beetle ready to come back and plague your hives and do the same thing all over again. So that's why it's so important to make sure that you're not only killing your adult beetles um, to create the, you know, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So you're taking care of the adults this is also taking care of any larvae that may happen. And you know, this is just the first day, so who knows long term. We're going to be keeping you posted on this down the road. We're going to try to do some stuff next week on it. And then we're going to um, just keep you posted periodically throughout the season and just be checking underneath the lid and stuff and just seeing what the small hive beetle populations are like. So I'm, I'm really excited. It's a really overbuilt uh, bottom board it's just so stout in every way and the wood is so nice i love it because it's pacifica jaffer which is an australian wood and he's just the way it's uh, all assembled it's really nice so i'm glad to try that out we're going to be trying out a lot of other new bee products as well the provap 110 which you know not all these are brand new but they're still um there's not a whole lot of great videos on them out there and i've got that one colony that's got a ton of mites we're going to be trying that out but anyways, if you have any comments or questions on the Beetle Buster, leave them below. I'm going to be leaving links to other videos on the Beetle Buster from Bruce, the guy who invented this product. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, of course, like just like I said, leave them below.